I'm going to start with, I'm going to with, 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 with some warm youth rhythm. You know, warm youth rhythm. See, if brothers and sisters are supposed to hate each other, no matter how hot the other one might be. Uh, you know, I saw this post online from this one girl, a girl that I like that says she woke up to a dead car battery. I told her, see, see she woke up to, 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 to me. I don't understand this. Yeah, the, the, I saw this rule, by the way. Um, see, you ever have something they call it called Things I Wonder? So, it hey, does Gumby eat gum? Okay. Right. Okay, you can ask that for, 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 for a top 10 list. Is the, the top 10 best way to eat a Reese's. Okay, number 10, the, the, the normal way. Okay, number 9, putting a hole in the center. Yeah, it's very important. The okay, best way to eat Reese's number, number 8, after dinner. Okay, 7, be, be before lunch. 6, for breakfast. Okay, top 10, best way to eat Reese's number 5, the, the, the usual way. Okay, number 4, by cutting out with silverware. Best way to eat Reese's number 3, by tossing it up into the air and cutting it with your mouth. It, 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 like this, like you take a Reese's, then you just toss it up and catch it. Okay, best way to eat Reese's number two by making it into a smoothie. And the number one best way to eat Reese's is it, 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 with your mouth. And, you know, everybody should know that. Uh, you, know, you know, I like making top ten lists. I like making lists. I like lists so much that's become an eventual list. You know, if you enjoy that pun, you should all come to my, my pun party next week. I'm going to have a big pun party where we make puns. No, we do have a rule though. If anybody comes to the party and they say one thing that is not a pun, it, you'll be punished. <laughs> okay, no, 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 I'm going on a camera trip next month. I've been prepared for the last three weeks. I already packed everything in the car three weeks ago. I even packed the campfire. Oops. Huh. You know, lately I've been going to a lot of places. I keep getting bothered by, by people I don't know. They come up to me. They ask me for a few few dollars. I say no. Then they keep following me around and continue asking. If, they, if this doesn't stop, I'm going to have to hang out with people who work in pest control. Uh, well, I tell you, for a little bit, just uh, things I wonder. Um, it, 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 did Adam and Eve ever have sex? It's <laughs> me that, you know. You know, I've been thinking about my cousin. Like this year, one of my cousins been dating a bunch of women. I found out all of his girlfriends this year are people who work with teachers. My cousin has a, has a thing for AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah. I found out this one guy at work, he's married to this one girl I went to school with that I really like, so now I resent my coworker, so, so so I'm leaving work, I'm saying bye, I say stuff like, yeah, say hi to your wife for me, buy your wife something fancy for me, bone your wife for me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's speaking of coworkers, it was one girl at my work, like she only works in the summer because he goes and spends most of the year in college, like five states away. Hey, last summer I asked this, I told this girl I'd give her fifty dollars if she quits college. And she said no. So 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 then I found out where she went to school at and who her teachers were. I called her teachers. I told the teachers I'd give them fifty dollars and they flunked her. But the teachers misheard me. They, they, they mis I heard the flunked part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was talking with one of my friends a couple of weeks ago. My, my friend was kind of worried. Like, like my friend told me he got his wife pregnant, but he can't afford to raise a kid. But, but then a couple of nights later, I was talking to my friend again. He's not worried anymore. He, he said he and his wife uh, won the, the lottery, so they don't have to worry about raising the kid, paying for the kid anymore. They can afford an abortion. Yeah, yeah. I thought thought the the perfect joke. I'm still trying to structure. Let's see if I can get this right. Okay, how do you know if a horse has syphilis? Uh, no, it's not a horse. It's, well, I think it's a chicken. Okay, how do you know if a chicken has? No, uh, I'm still worried. It's a, okay, this guy. I'm sure it's a skunk. How do you know if a skunk has syphilis? Have sex with it and get tested. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. I think there's one more thing I wonder. See, you know, why do women get why do women get turned off or freaked out when I use pickup lines? Uh, when I use pickup lines uh, and like you're so sexy, want to bone you hard. 
Probably get peeped out. You know, I guess some advice from a good comedian last year. He told me to buy on stays and it looks like the audience isn't enjoying it. Like to do them a favor and end early. I'm thinking, yeah, that, that could be good advice. But, but, but if they appear to not be enjoying me, don't they deserve to suffer? <laughs> well, the, the next time you see me will be the next time you see me.